It's a fire from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite cartridge that I really like. I've been making a lot of layouts using this cartridge, especially now that gradu you know high school graduation is around the corner. This cartridge is perfect for those layouts. And if you look, let me show you a couple of, uh, of layouts that I've done. We're using that cartridge. Look how pretty that is. I mean, I love this cartridge. And look at the other one that I made using this cartridge. And these are, this is a five and a half. So I've been using, I've been making all my paper dolls five and a half. And this is how they look. So I want to show you the cartridge. So this cartridge is more sophisticated. Um, I have all the paper doll cartridges from Cricut and see that's the first one. And then this is the second paper doll cartridge that I have and all the images are kind of like chubby cute. This one is more sophisticated. It's more teenager like. Um, all the dolls are just perfect. I really like the, all the images in this cartridge. And it's assembled differently. Notice that there's bodies. Each layer is a full body. While the paper doll cartridge, you get one body and then you, the layers are actually the clothes for that body. So, um, and later on I'm going to show you how to assemble it because it's a little tricky how you assemble it. If you're not really familiar with the Cricut um, cartridges and how to layer them, it might get a little confusing. So I'm going to show you how to assemble one. And I'm just going to show you all the image. Um, a lot of times I'm, I, um, I see just one or two image of a cartridge and then I end up buying the cartridge. And then when I look going in, in the booklet, a lot of the images are, you know, is something that I wouldn't use. So that's why I want to show you this one. Because I think every single image in this cartridge is one that I'm going to use. There's not one image that um, I'm not, I, I think that it's, it's not usable. So you get three different styles of bodies for the girls. There's a lot of, there's like 20 different styles of hairstyle. Um, there's also different clothes. And then as long as you have the same body shape, you can, you can mix, mix and match the hairstyle with the different clothes. And then there's another one. So you can you can use the clothes from this doll um, doll with a different doll with a different hairstyle. So they're very cute. And then it comes with two boy bodies. So you'll see that in a second. And there's even stuff for Halloween. Now we're going into the boy area. So that's one style for the boys. A lot of sports in it. And then that one is perfect for for prom. So I really like that one for the prom. And then like Halloween. And now we're going pretty soon we're going to go to the second style. Of, of boys so you can see there that's a second style so you can kind of mix and match the hairstyle with the different outfits as long as you have the same body type okay I'm now I'm gonna show you how to assemble one of these dolls in a second so we're gonna cut this one out so I'm gonna cut this this image out so the first thing I'm going to do is cut the hair. Then this is the the um, eyes, the white of the eyes. This is the um, pupils, and that's the skin color. So I already loaded my mat, and I really I use a brayer to make sure that the um, paper is nicely adhered to my mat, and I'm going to load. And then the first thing I'm going to cut is I'm going to go ahead and cut the pupils which is this image so and if you look at here you can see on the keyboard it's one two three four five six seven it's seven over so I'm gonna go here and look and for that one it's body so if you look here it's gonna be body 
quick on body and then it's going to be the eyes make sure I have the right one so it's going to be this image okay and then you can see because it says Sunday and just make sure you read on here on your LED it will say let me see if I can show you that on the LED it says Sunday so you know you have the right one and then make sure you have body so if we go over here we can see that I clicked on body and I clicked on the doll now I'm ready to cut so I'm gonna cut the body first and I'm gonna leave it at five and a and at five and a half and the pressure the the blade is at four and a half my pressure is at medium and my speed actually the pressure is at high and the speed is at medium and I'm gonna go ahead and cut okay so now the next thing I'm gonna cut is the hair one yellow hair so this is the image that I'm gonna cut so I'm gonna make sure I take the body off and click on the doll and then I'm gonna move my cursor over to my yellow sheet and my gypsy broke so actually I called Provocraft and they're gonna send me a new gypsy so I'm waiting for that to come in but in the meantime um, this is the way you do it with scrap piece of paper you bring your blade to the top of where it's gonna begin to cut and then you hit cut okay now I'm gonna bring it over to my skin tone so this is gonna be the skin So now I'm going to cut the skin. This is the skin tone. And how you can tell what layers corresponds to what. If you look at the hair, you, the color of the image on the cartridge or on the booklet corresponds to the layer that it cuts. So notice that, that the hair color is the same as this, so you know that's the hair. This is the eyes because it's the white of the eyes and so forth. So the way to you read these booklets is that the color of the um, the color, like say the, the dress here, that corresponds with the layer here. So now I'm going to cut the, the skin, which is this is the skin. And that one is body shift. So I'm going to put shift body. And then I'm going to click on that image. And always verify that you have, this is Sunday, so always make sure you verify it with what displays on, on your Cricut. Okay, so I'm going to continue on cutting all the layers and then I'll come back and we'll so put I it. cut all my pieces out and I'm going to start to assemble. And if you look at them, they look like little alien dolls. Look at this one. Definitely looks like a little alien doll. And look at this one. So, but as you put it together, they start forming the doll. So the first thing is the hair. So whatever color the hair is going to be, this is the first layer that you put together. And then on top of the hair, it's going to go the white of the eyes. So this is the white, the sclera, the white of the eyes. It's going to go on top. So I like to use liquid adhesive because that way I can <clears throat> I have some control in case I don't put it exactly right. I have I can maneuver it a little bit. Okay, and then it helps if you had tweezers. And make sure you you align it as best as you can. Now that's what I noticed with these dolls. Sometimes the alignment might be a little off. So if you use liquid adhesive, you can really work the alignment make sure is on oops okay so there's layer one so that's how it starts looking and then the next layer is going to be 
the eyes, the um, pupils. So this is your pupils. If you're gonna give them blue eyes, so you make sure you give um, this layer will be blue or brown. If you're giving them brown eyes, does this layer will be brown? But this is the next layer of your doll, and you're gonna lay it on top of the white layer. And you gotta kind of make sure you kind of work it that um, when you lay it on top, it's it's equal. So you kind of work it a little bit, and that's what I do. I kind of make sure that it's that you don't really see the bottom layer. Okay, so there. So now the next layer is going to be the skin tone. So that's my next layer here. And notice how now it's starting to look like a doll. I'm going to put some liquid adhesive on the doll. Okay. And then just make sure you align it with the bottom layer. And you align it the best that you can align it. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of, get rid of some of this glue. Okay, so there's my doll now. Still looks a little alien. So now I'm gonna put the hair piece on top. So then the next piece, so the first, the yellow hair will be the bottom piece. And then the last piece, the last layer for the body will be the um, like the hair piece that either the bangs or the ponytail, whatever it is, will be the, um, the bottom layer or the top layer. So there, have my doll. Now I'm not finished yet. Now I'm ready to go ahead and start assembling the clothes. So the first layer for the clothes, these are the tights. So then you start working the layer up. So you notice here you have the bottom layer will be the tights. Then this will be the second layer. Uh, this will be the second layer and then the skirt and the earrings will be the last layers and the boots will be the last layers so I'm gonna put the tights on and all the dowels assemble the same way so once you mastered the first doll it'll be easy to go ahead and do all the other the rest of the dolls they're all the same Okay, and before I put I put the um, the the dress on, I go ahead and assemble it, the dress pieces, the layers of the dress pieces before I put it on the doll. And if I want to put, it, let me go ahead and we can put a little ribbon right here. So hold on, let me get that piece of ribbon, little piece of ribbon, right here. And actually, I can cut this smaller. So I'm gonna and I'm and see how it's already fraying. The ribbon is already fraying a little bit. So the way to prevent that is by burning off the tip. So you burn off the tip here. Burn off the tip there. Now I can go ahead. Just put a little bit of glue, not a lot. A little bit of glue. Put your ribbon there. Go ahead and layer this on my doll.
Okay, so this is my doll, and I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and put a little. I'm going to make a little rose and put it on there. And then I'm the last thing I'm going to do. Actually, the second to last thing I'm going to do is put on the boots. And earrings. So here's one pair of earrings. It came with even earrings. And I'm going to use my pickup tool to put the, the earrings. And then now, I'm going to go ahead and put the earrings on. And actually, I'm going to put it underneath the hairline. Okay, so um, the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a mouth and I'm done assembling my doll. So I'm going to draw a mouth using my gel pen, a pink gel pen. And you just draw some um, lips and it's pretty easy to do. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm almost done. So there's my cute little dolls and I hope you like this video and if you haven't seen this cartridge I think you'll like it it's a very nice cartridge and thank you for watching bye